All right, so I'm on the play here. Uh, this hand looks very good, actually, so hopefully we'll do some cool stuff. All right, yeah, I mean, I can't argue with my hand. All right, so we're going to temple scry, and there's a land on top, which I'm not sure we'll actually need unless we brick on Wayfinder, but I think that we want to keep it just in case we might brick on Wayfinder. So we're going to keep it on top. All right, so we drew. Uh, that'll get us to this on turn three or four, which is good. Uh, since we don't have any removal, I think we're just going to want to take the full Monty, and, uh... Yeah, that's bad. Now I feel really bad for leaving that on top, but maybe we'll do a different game plan now. <laughs> Ooh. This is kind of a tough one, because Lotla Troll could end up just killing us. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a, uh... The issue with this hand is this could eventually kill us, and this could eventually kill us. Um, but I feel like I could stabilize against this if he wants to go all in on it. Uh, whereas we will never stabilize against this if he just finds, because he has eight eight dig. Um, this is a tough tough turn, but I think I think I'm just gonna take the yeah. obedience. That was one card that I was a little afraid yep. of from him on turn one, but I feel like if we had made it to turn four uh, without playing against the thought seeds, we would have been fine. Um, <clears throat> so there's a chance that I don't end up taking damage from my lands if I uh, want to ca play this Tumblr and tap next turn. So even though it gives me information, I'm going to play a lot of the troll and just start trying to beat him down since he took four. Just hope he doesn't have a removal spell. Yep. And I'll play a temple, trigger, we do not need the land, so pass the turn. Alright, so I doubt we're going to need the Sylvan Carrioted, uh, so there's a good chance I'm going to discard it to a lot less troll to actually start battling. Uh, but first, uh, I'm just basically never going to uh, tap my black mana if I don't have to. So we're going to take two from this. Uh, we're just going to Civic Wayfinder, or sorry, Seder Wayfinder, top four. Hit a Lenore Waste and some Junkers. Oh no, a restock. Yeah, I wish I had drawn it. That would have been awesome. <laughs> uh, tech. No and... Hmm. So the Seder Wayfinder couldn't end up being good. I don't really want to go all in. He only has one way to kill it, but if he draws it, that would be very bad for me. Um, sorry, this is a little tough. Sorry. Right. All right, so you're at 16, So, but you might take another damage from your land or... All right, we're just going to YOLO. We're just gonna YOLO? Play. Yeah, take five. All right, 11. Here we go. Not a lot of decks have, you know, in those color combinations, have a way to actually kill Lala Troll once you leave Regen Mana up. Uh, the one Petrify is a little scary, 12. but I'm just going to kind of hope he doesn't draw it. So Bottom. Go. All right, and like I said, we are a little all in, but the Helm taking our Endless Obedience is uh, kind of what happened. Hey, this is this is a strategy this deck has to t do. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, this is the back the backup, right? So, uh, yeah. yeah, we'll just stack for five. No blocks. Here, seven. Seven. Here you go. All right, stomping grounds goes in my hand. Reveal another stomping grounds. I don't really know if I want to continue to take damage. Uh, so what happens if we put two in front of it? He can't kill us. So I guess we'll just go to eight. eight. We'll play a Xenagos. Okay. And make a chump block. Go. <laughs> All right, draw. All right, so he's at eight, so I think I just want to try to kill Xenagos. Uh, if he puts both guys in front of this, I think I'm okay with that. And I, he might just let his Xenagos die, though. So we will attack Xenagos. Wrong. <laughs> yeah. Here you go. All right. Perfect. That's exactly what I needed. <laughs> um... All right, so we'll play Mutaval, go to nine. <laughs> choo choo, chump blockers. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Tech you. Uh, I don't think I want to block with Seder, or the Seder, so I'll just go to 16. Go. <laughs> That's really funny. And now we can regenerate next turn. Yeah. That was a pretty good draw, actually. Hmm. All right, I'll continue attacking. Uh, well, do I want to attack here? I mean, I, I think I do. The problem is I can't do what I want to do, but I don't actually want to discard this anyway, so Block. I will attack Nissa. Block. All right, I will just regenerate. Yeah, so this is going to be a little tough getting through all of Brad's chum blockers with Nissa. 
Uh, I guess we'll... Maybe I shouldn't play that, because then if he dies, that would just be really bad. Alright, I'm actually just going to discard him and deal Nissa an extra one. Oh no! And I'll say go. Then I don't have to regenerate, actually. Yeah, you don't so have to regenerate. Let's do this. Sorry. Reveal! Alright, play a line or waste. Ten. Um, we definitely, in case our guy dies, I mean, we're not, we're not lethal yet, so we just shouldn't play around that. So I guess we should just attack with both of these. All right. Oh, animate yeah. uh, and trade. Sure. Take two down to 14. Okay. And then... We'll make this a 4-4. Four, four. Okay. And that'll be my turn. Draw. Alright, so what happens if I attack Brad? So he's at 10. He probably just chumps with this. Takes 2 down to 8. I kind of want to try to kill his Nissa. So I'm going to force him to block more things. So I'm going to attack Nissa. Once we get rid of all his chump blockers, that'll be good. But yeah, he's okay. Yeah, he's just gonna go guard charm regenerate. That's fine. Uh, all right, I'll we'll pay a block. Yep. Oh, you Burr. guys are tapped. Yeah, not all of them. <laughs> sure, whatever. This one's not. <laughs> go. <laughs> all right, draw mortars. Reveal at the top. Oh, ooh, that's a lethality move. Yeah, this is not good. All right. Well, I don't think we're gonna play our temple. Go to eleven. Make this a 4-4, and I want to get greedy. Burn. You're at 11. The odds of me killing you is pretty small. It is true. All right, I'll just attack you for 8. I'm at 6. 6, go. All right. Yeah, I'm just dead. Mm. Yeah. Go, go, Nissa World Waker. All right, so we're on the play for game two. Uh, pretty solid opener with some enablers and some mana, so definitely keeping. Da -da. Uh oh. All right, we got a lot of troll on top. Uh, I think we just kind of want to dig for endless obedience with our hands, so we'll just put them on bottom. We have plenty of ways to fill our game. 19. Graveyard. All righty. Da -da. I don't know what that means, but okay. And then obviously we draw the card we did not want to draw, so we'll play Silver Character. Here we go. Ooh, I don't think we want this. Even though it is a, an important card in our deck, I don't think we do. Oh, with this draw. Go. All right, so we're just going to cast Silver Character and say go. No! No! What'd you put on? You just drew whatever you put on bottom. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. Go. Wow. All right. We're gonna grizzly salvage on turn. No. One, two, three, no! four, five. No. Yay! No. No. Now we don't have it yet, so I'm gonna put this in the grave. <laughs> don't want me to Ashen Rider you, bro. Come on. Brick. <laughs> All right, so uh, since we have the Skyland, we're going to main phase a Grizzly Salvage before we actually play our Skyland. Uh, so top five. Ooh, I can cast Hornet Queen next turn. That's pretty good. That's not going to be good. I got Mortars. Oh, no. Maybe I should just Shadowborn Demon your Corsair crew fix. No, Maybe don't do that. Better. Yeah, we'll do that. Or at least try to do that next turn. Unless I get Rakdos Return. Oh, we got... We... <laughs> you do not have... That much obedience. I would not consider it endless. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I will put Mutavolt on the bottom. And here you go. Channel the power of the Yugi! Ah! Yes! 21. Okay. No, I'm not at 21. I'm at 20. Yep. See, I told you I can mortars. <laughs> Alright, so we have access to a decent amount of mana. Uh... I'm pretty sure we want to do this this turn, so 
Yeah, I can't see any other play. Nope, none of our lands are forced. <laughs> yep. And go. Yeah, it's about to be Blowout City. It's not going to be as good for you as you think it is. You mean as bad? No, it's going to be real bad. Okay, that's cool. Well, Shadowborn Demon, I guess. And... Doesn't really matter too much. I guess Corsair. One, two, I don't have three, enough. four. But if you kill these yeah, with I your Mizium Mortars, I'll have yeah. enough. Yeah, sure you go. Yeah, don't reveal. All right, so we have access to nine mana. We got nine mana, and you got three cards. I feel like I know what I'm going to do with my mana. <laughs> this is the donut. <laughs> All right, so Rakdos for six or just three? Just for three. All right, I'm at 17, and discard my Ashen we'll Rider. Four. I was going to hard cast. We'll do four. <laughs> All right, 16 to 20. And right. then your turn. Did you discard two creatures? Just one. Okay. All right, so we have to sack Keratid. We don't have to. I assume he's just going to kill Demon with... Is there a two-mana spell? Uh, ultimate Price. Okay, yeah. Figured it out. Brad has everything. Tag Xanagos. The Iron Price has been paid. Yeah. All right, play Wayfinder, going to get Mizium Mortars next turn. Play, get Temple, Scry, try to find Endless Obedience, number two. Yeah, sure go. Number Reset. three, you got two in the graveyard. Sorry, yeah, you're right. Scry. I guess Whip would also be pretty good, too. Bottom. The old Ultimate Xenagos is about to happen. Shh. <laughs> Don't ruin the surprise. No, you can keep them. I don't care about them. <laughs> okay. Womp womp. Okay. Yeah, that's my best You have land. a lot of mana floating, right? Three, four, five. You tapped. Oh, yeah. I'm you doing ticked that up. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let's just start this turn over. <laughs> this is tapped. All right. Tick up. I've got three in my pool. Wait, I don't want to do that. Okay, watch, watch. Yeah, I know you cast. This is the magic. This is the magic. Mesa, make that a guy. Plus one. Make a, a thingy. Kill this. Attack for four. And that's it's only, it's that's only, what I'll do. All right, it's 11. only four, not five. Go. All right, and I'm at fifteen and down to eleven. All right, now I need something good. Not good. We're gonna die. Here okay. we go. And this is a real thank, good man. Th thank you for letting me do this. Oh, you're welcome. I'm not gonna, not gonna chicken out. All right, we'll, uh, we'll play a courser. Sure. Want, want. Yeah, I don't want that. Get out of here, Chandra. Okay. <laughs> Twenty-one. Okay. Ultimate. Okay. <laughs> what do I do? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a bunch of lands. And one and uh, one trigger. Where do we go, bottom? You get, is it non-planeswalker permanence? Yeah, it, no, it's creatures and lands. Aw. Okay, trigger. so you, you gain five life up to 26. And reveal this. <clears throat> this one does not have so many sickness. Yep. Oh, block, regenerate, take seven. Go. And just so you all know, watching at home, that is the best way you could have played that turn. <laughs> By far. <laughs> all, right, all right, so on my side, uh, I think Packrat is a little lackluster against decks with a lot of removal spells, especially ones with uh, sweeper-style removal spells like Mizzium Mortars. Um, our deck doesn't put a lot of emphasis on this guy other than being a discard outlet, especially in this matchup, and it's an expensive one, so we're going to trim it. Since we're trimming Pack Rat, we're going to trim a little on Lance 2 and cut a Mutavolt, since Mutavolt's only really great when you have Pack Rat in this deck. Um, we need to keep our colored sources. Brad has very few creatures that I care about, so Shadowborn Demon's coming out. Although, uh, you know, I don't know that he has Scavenging Ooze in the board, you know, after game one. So after I see Ooze, I might bring the demons back in for something, but that, we'll come to that when we need to. Uh, Fortress, a Pithy Needle, and a Restock to, you know, take apart uh, his hand a little bit in the early turns of the game, and then refuel after, uh, you know, we mill our graveyard a little bit. So uh, Over here, I'm taking out a lot of my removal. That's just bad. 
uh, keeping a couple mortars in and fear of those pack rats or just pesky little creatures like Hornet Queen and stuff. Uh, bringing in a guard charm for the same thing, but it also kills whip and it regenerates my creatures if I have to chum block. The thoughts uses because they are good. And scavenger uses to stop his stuff and Chandra because Chandra is bad. I'm taking her out. <laughs> All right, so this hand is a little heavy on the top end. Um, we're going to hopefully scry into uh, the cards that we need to hit. And if we don't, then this deck's, or this hand's not really going to do anything. I was going to say this deck's not going to do anything. Slip. It is a Freudian slip. So <laughs> that is my, my fear. I think I'm going to dress on turn two after I scry, but uh, no. sure. All right. Not, not my snake haired one. Okay. All right, all right, are you good to go? Oh yeah, my hand is gas. Okay. Real informative there, Bar Narsa. Well, here you go. If your hand ever looks like this, don't mulligan it. <laughs> <laughs> that see, that is something better to say <laughs> than. Yep. All right, uh, address you. I will take yeah, <laughs> the witchy woman. Yeah. So to speak. Here you go. Draw. We will play the Corsair. Yep. Now you get perfect information. No, give me real stuff to do. Go. Draw. Real stuff to do. Ooh, that's not bad. I can't beat that card. Ugh. Bam. Yep. Wish I had a, a millstone type card. You're attacking? Yeah. <laughs> well, my hand doesn't do anything, so I will trade. Oh, wait, no, you have a stupid scavenging. But he's going to be good against me anyway, so. Brad's going to go guard charm me, but I don't care. All no. right, damage. Take two. Go guard charm. Yep. Play an elf. All right, 18 to, you took a damage I took on a one and gained one. Yep. Oh, so you're still at 20. Yep. All right. Well, that means we can't cast a whip for another turn, but. Yeah. Hey, it means I don't have to play the one in my hand. 21. You just stay right there, girl. <sighs> that is a girl, right? Yes. Okay. Tech. 16. Yep. I'll be coming for you next turn. Wow, that was a good draw. Oh, did we get something? Was it a restock? Oh, no, it was a pithy needle. I just don't know what to name now because I'm going to die to Nyssa. <laughs> oh, no. I need to name Scavenging Goose or I can't do anything. He breaks, he breaks half my hand. <laughs> I'll name... No, 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 I get to respond. All right, cast this. Okay, I will respond by taking your Mutavolt and my Elvish Mystic. Sure. Oh, man. 22. Yeah, my hand doesn't do anything. I'm just going to die. It doesn't actually matter what I name. Yeah, I'll name this uh, World Waker. Here we go. Uh, six, yeah. Ten. Go. Oh, and I gained one, 23. Response. Okay. Eat your dress. Okay. Resolves. Go. <laughs> Eat my brassica. Okay. But I'm going to leave the go guard. Okay. Oh, I guess I do have restock, so there is reason for you to do that. That's During fine. my dress step. Eat my go guard. Oh, wait, no. Put yeah. it into play. <laughs> oh, you lose the game for drawing extra cards. I do. So, 24. 24. 24. I'm at 24 now. That's easier. Be before you show me your hand. Oh, my God. Eat my th it's <laughs> not even in the graveyard yet, you scum. <laughs> 22. I'll take your Hornet Queen. <laughs> Eat that. All right. That's fine. <laughs> what is <laughs> three? Four, you seven? five, six, seven. No, I'm at three. Take seven. Oh, yeah, you're at three. Go. So now I need. Oh wait, no. Fuck. Block this guy. Freaking. Corsair prefix. I'm at five. No, should I? Can I? Can I kill that? Go. No. What are you? Why are you doing this to me? You're just being the biggest troll right okay, now. Okay, I'm sorry. This is horrible. All right. That was a decent draw, I guess. Maybe not that decent. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, wait. I'm gonna respond. <laughs> I There's nothing my... in my graveyard yet. No, but I'm gonna put four, three green in my pool. I'm ready. <laughs> oh my god. All right. I guess I can take Lala Troll and then have an infinite jump blocker, but he has Dreadbore, so I can't regenerate and not die. So maybe I don't take that. I just need to hit land drops and get lucky. 
I don't know. One, two, three, four. Go. EDD. Okay. Here to million. But um should have played the courser first. Dread board that. Eat that. There yeah, you are. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're on the play again. Uh, this hand is pretty good. Um, I'm just kind of hoping Brad doesn't draw scavenging ooze, but I don't know. Maybe I should board back in the Shadowborn Demons. I don't know. Well, will you sideboard and go to six? I might just go to six. I don't think I can keep this hand. This, um, this is okay. about as bad as it can get before, or get guys close, but still be as bad. So we're going to mulligan. That's a good choice. <sighs> okay, so this is a much better hand and should do some good things. All right, I got 18. Cast Mystic. Here we go. <clears throat> well, that was going to help us have the most painful start uh, ever, but I think we're going to want to do it. So, 18, gear turn. Um, it's a pretty decent draw, I think. All right, I guess in case I hit a. Uh, Skyland. Yeah, I'm gonna play this. One, two, three, four. Um, I'm gonna have a round two. Okay. Yes. Yeah, sure go. Alrighty. Uh, not the worst draw, but that card's probably gonna not do much for this game. Usually, this is the kind of card that's better on the play, and in a matchup where they can go over the top, it's not gonna do a lot. But uh, we're gonna temple, scry, uh, another green red land to the bottom, and thoughts is you. You got sixteen. Hmm. I'm thinking if I can just like take the troll and just pray that you don't get anything with that endless obedience. Like my hand's not even good against troll really. Um, like, this is tough. My hand is doesn't really do anything, and uh, in this situation, like we might be able to stabilize against a troll, but it's going to be a three four no matter what. And then any other creature makes it uh, four three, which just like brick walls everything I have. Uh, I don't think I can beat an Ashen Rider, to be honest, but that one in hand is just stuck there for a very long time, and hopefully... Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. all right, I, I think I am just going to take the, uh, the Life Bane, or the, the that guy, yeah. Okay. And pass the turn. All right, so I guess we got to start getting our beat down on we're battle. Yeah, I will not block. <laughs> 14. <laughs> uh, mute of all, your go. All right, uh, we're going to go to 12. Play Xenagos yep. and play the Seder that will not revel at all. All right. Well, we drew Grizzly Savage. No! That's real good. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Oh, yes, we hit him. Come on. All right. Uh, so we have five. We have six in hand. So we're actually just going to take Seder Wayfinder over a land. All right. We do have to take a damage, but that's fine. Draw for turn. All right. Take one. Finally get to cast this card for the first time all match, and goodbye Xenagos. Xenagos has been exiled. Your turn, sir. Who? So does that card have the same clause as, as Demon, where I can sacrifice things? Uh, no? I don't think so. No? I think it just attacks for five. All right, we'll reveal, we'll play this. Right here, 13. 13, we'll reveal. That's not a card that I want. <laughs> Go. All right, so let's... Hope that we hit another really good creature off the <laughs> like Seder Wayfinder source. so that we can actually either cast our Ashen Rider or just convoke another. Because uh, you ripped another one? Yeah, because I have two a, draws were Grizzly Selvage in that. Yeah, not, not bad, I know. So, All right, well, that's not very nice. Actually, I shouldn't attempt that. Should, oh, I guess I'm not attacking with it anymore. Uh, okay, another Seder Wayfinder. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Four, temple, uh, battle for five. Eight. I'm going to play a Lancer, excuse you. A meter wall on top, you can go to the bottom. I'm going to go to nine, put that on the bottom. Okay. And we are dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm making a minor sideboard change, and... Uh, this is mostly just because I, I don't really know how to fight this matchup, per se. Um, I know the scavenging use is really bad for me, and so I want to have a few more ways to kill it. 
And I think that Shadowborn Demon is a better way to do that other than Doomblade so that my Grizzly Savages can find it. Uh, I don't necessarily need to kill it on turn two, so, but I want to have like access to a few more ways to do that. And since I'm bringing some more five drops back in my deck, I'm bringing back in the Muta Vault. Uh, Duress, I don't think I want to be that reactive in this matchup, so I think I'm just going to have you know more like proactive things like Shadowborn Demon. So. All right, so I'm on the play here, and this hand does not look particularly that great, but I can see hands like this happening a lot with a deck like this. And if these hands are mulligans, then I couldn't see how a deck like this would be good at a tournament. Sure. To be honest, like this is actually just the pinnacle hand of, like, if this is a mulligan, this deck should be bad. So I'm going to keep it. Uh, my hand is not great. Uh, we don't have a reanimate, but we do have basically everything else, so I guess we'll keep Go. All right, uh, we're going to start off taking a pain and playing Elvish Mystic and say go. Interesting. It's really interesting. I guess that is probably our play this turn. Go. All right, well, Brad also has an Airborg, but we'll play my own. Legend roll. I don't think that's how that works. Uh, we'll play a lot of troll and say go. Woot! That's easy. In response, I'll discard two Ashen Riders. Okay. I have Lance. Interesting. <laughs> Here come the beatdown! <laughs> uh, very interesting. Well, I was going to do this with them anyway, but you kind of forced my hand. <laughs> yeah. Go. Uh, wait, 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 no. I don't think that's going to be relevant, so... Yeah, I'm going to kill this. Oh, good. Drop. We'll scry. Cedar Wayfinder is not terrible, but we already have the Ashen Rares in our graveyard, so I think we actually just want to dig for either Whip or uh, uh, <clears throat> Endless Obedience. I'm going to attack for four. So you have 13. To... You have uh, oh, yeah, you did your tag with, You didn't tag him with an Elf, however. I should just be at 14. Maybe 4, 5, 6. Yeah. Okay. You're the one that took it damage. Oh, I you're took at a pain. 19. I'm yeah. sorry. 19 to 14. <laughs> yeah, here you go. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Suicide on this, uh, go! <laughs> <laughs> he probably has a backup. And he's just baiting me with his, with his words. T sure. I mean, if you don't want to tag my Planeswalker... <laughs> Okay. I will well, show you the second copy. Do you still not want to attack my points? Oh, I still want to attack. <laughs> All right, so we have a good one on top. So no! Kill this. And here we go. Stop having good ones. My bad. How am I supposed to win if you have all these good ones? I don't know, man. 12. <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm supposed to get aggressive. I mean, I think that's your only way to win. Like, you can't really block this guy. Attack you for four. Right. You're 15. Yep. Go. All right. Oh, kill her. Here we go. These are Lenore Elves. You put them into the mana creature zone. They're really big Lenore Elves, but... Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Man down. Go. <laughs> All right, so I'm at 15, you're at 12. Yeah. All right. What can we do? That was a pretty good draw, but let's see what it yields. Seder Wayfinder. One, two, three, four. Keep the land. I'm going to play a Temple to Scry. No. Another really good one. <laughs> no! <laughs> Um, <clears throat> scavenger news. So this Vraska is not actually going to do anything next turn. You have no cards in hand? Nope. So the way my hand is set up, I think I can actually, if, as long as Brad doesn't draw anything uh, ridiculous, I can kill him in two, three turns. Yeah. But do I even need to attack if that's the case? I think I can not attack this turn and then attack next turn and be fine. And I want to make sure I don't die to Rectus return or something crazy. So I'll just sit go. Scavenging news, scavenging news. Power of Yugi! Okay. 
Okay. Is this dying? Is this one, is this one gone? It is likely dying, but <laughs> the thing is, okay, so I have the option to Ice Rider or Hornet Queen, and I think to play around, uh, you have three red for Museum Orders, right? It should 100% so, Ice Rider. Yeah, I was just, Oh, okay, yeah. I, I want to say that, but yeah. also talk about it because I think it might be important. So, all right. So, we'll Endless Obedience, play this tapped, kill her, attack for five, put you a seven. Seven. Here you go. <laughs> well, I ain't going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am going to I'm gonna say it. I think that Nissa is a decent card, but I do not. Do you think it's really good? I don't think it's that good. I think I, it's fine. I admit my bias, but I also still think it is very good outside of my actual like personal bias. So I mean, I think that it is a very good card at winning a game that was very winnable. And I mean, I think it's just a, a threat that just like generates multiple other threats. Yeah. And even if your opponent's able to kill Nissa, they still have to be able to beat four fours. And the only reason I was able to do that in the last game was because. I had Ashen Riders on like turn four or five or whatever, and like yeah, he's just bigger yeah. than a four four, you know. But not a lot of decks really do that. I guess like Nissa is not great against like Polkernos, since the four fours have a little trouble in attacking into that, and that opens you up to like Mizium Mortars from like Gen Monsters or whatever. But I mean, Gen Monsters isn't that popular. Polkernos well, is I think not that because popular. This deck so. You know, a lot of the people that want to play that deck are playing this deck, yeah. which has a very good matchup against monsters because you just have creatures where this deck has planeswalkers. Yeah, and uh, and that and that's an advantage to playing the card. So maybe I'm looking. You know, its its downsides are better than like Stormbreath Dragon's downsides. Yeah. So that might be the case, and and this is probably very good in this like mix of you know mid range versus everything. But to be honest, like I've spent the last like ten days of my life. In the mono red world, and in the mono red world, we care about cards like Sheep and Golgari yeah. Charms and Drown and Sorrows, yeah. and we're not worrying ourselves about going over the top of each other. You know, there's no Sylvester Stallone in the mono red world. But uh, I don't know what to tell you, man. You gotta think outside the vacuum. I'm I'm done. <laughs> I, Tom, Tom Ross is showing me the light. <laughs> uh, as far as the reanimator deck is concerned, I felt like it has uh, some flaws, but I think yeah. it's. Uh, it's kind of cool what it's doing, at least. Um, I don't think that Pack Rat's all that necessary. I don't know what I would replace it with. I felt like the deck actually ran better after board without Pack Rat. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a distraction more than anything, and the fact that it you can't discard with it immediately is a, a little bit of a problem, specifically because people kind of build their deck around being able to deal with Pack Rat in the early turns of the game. Um, so not being able to rely on him as a discard outlet is definitely a, a big deal. Yeah, I mean... Um, oh, um... No, go ahead. Oh, I think the deck is sweet, but the the issue that all reanimator decks have, and the reason why, when um, Barrel Rights was here, that gave the deck enough consistency to function. But like mm. the problem with decks like this is like, you know, against your blue white planner cleansing matchup, if you have a lot of the troll, that's actually a really powerful card against mm. them. But like that is your powerful card against them, and like I feel like if you don't draw the right numbers of cards in every matchup, like. It, it's it's more difficult to win. No, I agree. I think like the the problem of having to have endless obedience in your hand versus having to have unbear rights in your in, deck. In, in your deck, yeah, yeah, is 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 huge, and you know it's it's definitely a problem. So uh, I'm curious what people think about the deck. If they have any good ideas for it, I would love to hear them. Uh, but yeah, I mean, after playing a lot of M15 Limited, I just really liked Endless Obedience as mm. a card, and we want to try it out. Card. Yeah, it seems sweet, and we didn't really showcase, you know, how powerful it could be. I don't. I know. mean, I think we did. You you drew a card and killed me. <laughs> okay, maybe we did. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, the consistency in the deck, I think, is uh, lacking somewhat. So. Is the issue? Yeah, yeah. and uh, for right now, uh, I mean, I think that decks like this are sweet. So if you, if Man, if only there was decks. Eternal Witness, we could we could Grizzly Savage into Eternal Witness and get back. Uh, endless obedience. I'm gonna start doing that in modern. No, he's not. I might. I don't think he will. Dude, you could zombie infestation. Everyone, this thank, card, you, thank you for make watching. Make zombies uh, and then join us, with later. Them. join us later. Join us later this week when we are not playing this deck in modern. Oh, I but am. we will be playing more standard where BBD and I will be playing Your our PT pro decks. tour decks. Yeah, that'll be fun. And to I'm going to crush him. Yep. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you later this week with some articles and some more versus videos. Ciao. Thank <laughs> you.